Hi guys! In this video I'm gonna show you how easy it is to test REST API using Testerum. Let's get started by creating a new test called Add Customer. In order to create a new customer, we need to be logged in and get an authentication token. Let's click on plus button to add a step in order to execute an HTTP request to log in. Click on edit to configure this HTTP call. Give it a name. Select the HTTP method. Set the URL. Set the headers. Now select the body tab and type the JSON with the credentials. Executing this HTTP call will return an authentication token. Next, let's verify the response. We add another step to verify the HTTP call response. Let's call it Verify Login. Set the status code that we expect. From body matching, select JSON Verify and inside the body we can type the JSON we expect to receive. Because the value of the authentication property is random, we will use the testTerm function is not empty for matching the value. At this point, we add another step in which we save the value of authentication token into a variable. We need this for our next HTTP call, add customer. Set it a name. To access the value, we use this method inside double curly brackets. This way, we can access any JSON and take any value we need inside the declared variable. We store the authentication token inside this variable and use it in the next add customer request. Now, add a new HTTP request and configure it in the same manner. We add one more header, authorization, and use the variable auth underscore token inside double curly brackets for the value. Go to the body tab and type in the customer object to be sent. At this point, we can save the test and execute it. We copy the response we got in the console in order to make a verification. Now, back in our test, we add an HTTP response verify step. Set the name and the status code that we expect. Select JSON verify from body matching and paste the copied response. Because the ID is auto-generated, we replace it with one of the term functions is not empty. We can remove the fields we're not interested in. For example, we can remove the house number and postcode.
save the test and execute it. This is our expected HTTP response and this is the actual HTTP response. They are matching and the test has passed. What we can do for more reusability is to group the first steps into a more generic step called given I am logged in. Create a new step given I am logged in and inside this step add the first three steps. Now, this login step can be reused in other tests too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.